Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be doing the next episode of our Laxi Spiral Let's Play. Now, I did some quick work and I went to the temple ahead of time because, well, I kind of forgot to turn on my recording before now. <laughs> Which is kind of dumb, but, you know, whatever. So we're back at the Dark Temple, and this is actually, you gotta, like, kind of keep in track here. Uh, this is actually the first time we entered the temple in the save file since we died in the last save file. Right? So technically this is the first time we entered the temple. Uh, I already did the, end, the little cutscene because it was cut the first time. And by cut I mean I made it uh, invisible. So there was kind of no point in not taking it out this time. If you see my point there. So this time we're looking at the same scene, the same enemies, nothing really special. And we're just going to go straight for the arachnids. Uh, we're going to go straight there. And try to kill the arachnid queen, Testera, da ba ba ba. Whatever his name is. Now you might be wondering, well, Darth, you suddenly seem confident. Did something change? And my answer would be, uh, no. <laughs> Nothing changed. Uh, I'm not confident at all that we will actually be able to do it this time. But I do know that I have a new strategy. And as I say, a strategy isn't a strategy until you've tried it out. So that's exactly what we'll be doing today. We'll be trying out the new strategy that I have. Now, with my strategy, I estimate I have about a 50% chance to win this fight. I'm not by far saying that this is the best strategy. In fact, I think I think there is probably some way that Indonera wanted you to do this. And I think that that one, some way is what I'm missing. And that it would probably be the easiest way to actually complete this. But... I don't know what way Indonera had in mind when he made this game. So I'm not quite sure whether or not that is this is how he wants you to do it. I'm also not sure if he even had something in mind when he made it. Like, um, a lot of game developers actually just make like a fight and they turn up the difficulty according to the previous boss, and they usually just smash some enemies together, and the player is the one figuring things out, and the developer themselves is like, oh, okay, you figured it out, yay. So I'm not sure if Indonera actually considers um, the difficulty of a fight before he makes it. I have no clue. I would. If I if I made a game, I'd make sure that I could easily defeat every ba every battle myself. Um, because as the game's maker, I would kind of expect the game's own maker to at least be pretty good at the game, right? Know where the best weapons are, know how to get them. That at the very least you'd have the advantage on. So we're back in the spider place, obviously, and now we're going to go towards the spiders. Let's go! As you can see, no encounters yet, so who knows, this might be an encounterless spider run. That would be insane. No way. No way. Look how far we've made it, with no encounters! Found neck release. Ah! Almost made it. Almost made it without a single fight. Okay, so we're up against the Queen Lycos. Now, as um, I proved in the previous episode, this really is not the most difficult fight. Especially not if it chooses to use Wind Dance instead of an actual attack. So this fight should be GG. This should be pretty easy. Like, Bacchus is going to hit, the corpses are going to die. And Coriol shouldn't... No, Coriol doesn't finish it off. And there we go. So as you can see, Ganidia is so good. Like, this is not an exaggeration. Ganidia, Ganidia is so good. For this. So we're gonna... We're gonna check out this. And we're in the spider fight. So welcome to the big bad spider fight. Here, This is where the strategy is going to start. So the strategy that I decided to go with is... We want to get rid of... The tree put cave like hoses first, and the corpses obviously, but those aren't really an issue. We want to get rid of them first. So what we want to do is we want to go for the quadra metal on the queen like hose. We want to go for giga flare, not protection. We might regret this later, but that is the plan that I came up with. We want to go for bomber Y, and then on Ganidia. No, oh, that would have been bad. We want to go for clue. So it goes for Gazer Tarn. Importance, uh, Ganidia does not die. That is like the one requirement here. If Ganidia dies instantly, that sucks. It's, it's basically GG if Ganidia dies. 
At least it wasn't the previous time I tried this. So that is definitely not, like, you don't want to do that. If Gadidia dies, that's really bad. But, given the fact that he didn't die, we can now summon Bacchus. Bacchus going to kill the corpses easily. So corpses are dead. Bomber Y going to extra hit. Also kill two of the K Flacos. Okay, so the last time I tried this, that actually killed all the K Flacos, but it's fine. Quadrametal on the Queen. Uh, you can actually have Luciana defend and just toss. Sonic Teeth and, and just toss Sonic Teeth. Now, on Ganidia, you can actually use Fagocy Phagocytosis? 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 I guess? Ganidia actually dies, but that's not that bad. Like, it doesn't really matter that much. Because we can just use a Phoenix Feather to revive him anyway. We can just use... Um, I mean, I guess at this point we can use Protection. Like, that's kind of the, that was kind of the big point here. You had to actually... You had to actually get rid of those enemies that were being the big issue. And now that that's done, you know, we're just in a very good position right now. Now, admittedly, we could still be in, get, end, end up in a very bad spot. Because as you can see, this thing will try to, like... This thing will actually go ahead and paralyze a lot of your characters, if you're not careful about it. Now, you can actually just do with a medikit, give it to Luciana if you want to. Random's actually going to get paralyzed again, so that's annoying. Coriol. Random is unparalyzed, meaning Random can now use Quadra Metal. She can use a Tonic T on herself. Ganinia can use a Tonic T on himself. Luciana dies, that's fine. Because this thing should not. Oh, okay, I'm out. So look, Heavy Strike, I guess? I am so sure that this is the way to do it. Like, it worked. It should have worked. If that thing had 5 less HP, it would be dead. <sighs> so the question is, do we keep trying it like this? Honestly, I feel like replacing Coriol on a party. Not because I don't like Coriol as a character. I think he's great, but... He just doesn't do what you want him to do. He's not fast. He's not fast. He doesn't have recovery. And I really need the healer. I think my party will be Sarah, Luciana, and then Gunidia. Like, ironically, that is the original Three Stars of Destiny squad that I used. That I used in my game. In my plays there. But, although you, you spark a lot in those games too. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that I might actually go for that team once we get Sarah back. But to get Sarah back, we will actually have to complete this stupid dungeon. Look at this no spider run again, though. 1k flacos. I don't mean to say that this is the run, that this is the one, but like, 1k flacos. Uh, let's continue. Let's go up. Now, obviously, go to the right. Now, the important part is that you keep re you remember to actually pick up the, re the necro leash. Okay, here we go again. This time, I'm not really sure what we can even do better this time. Like, what can we do better except be luckier? Kick a flare, bomber Y. Blue. Random is knockout. That is bad. Although Coriol looked kind of fine, so maybe we might be able to do Coriol here. Uh, 
There's always this one thing that goes wrong. That's annoying. Well, they all died. I mean, I can use Giga Flare here and then revive with Coral. Do I actually have anything better to revive? Like Royal Nam, sure. So at this point, it's a game of revive Luciana. So I'm gonna use two characters to actually try and revive Luciana. Um, if you're wondering why I'm using two of them, that's because, well, using two of them actually means that I will be able to resist, well, not resist, obviously, but be less affected by, okay, so you see my strategy here, random will attack with Quadrametal, Luciana will give herself a Tonic Tea, he will give himself a Medicate. So if you notice my plan here, the idea is to make sure that as soon as Random gets paralyzed, he actually survives by using a Medikit on him. Where's the med Finding something in this huge ass list of items is kind of annoying at times. There we go. Goyal gets knockout, that's fine. Well, it's not fine, obviously. Like, we can actively lower its stats a bit more. Um, I'm gonna spend the Phoenix Feather and then the Medikit like this. Luciana goes knockout too. Okay, let's uh, focus on the Phoenix Feathers for now. Try to revive both. Just because random does actually outspeed, so you know. Can this thing summon Gather Tarn twice? Who got paralyzed? Coriol got paralyzed. That's surprising. <sighs> we did it, boys! We did it! It's dead! Finally! Two keys, 1700 gold, some battles for Coriol, a ring. Sonic Seas, but we're not picking those up. Women and arm is broken. One helmet saved. So that's it. That's um, that's how you beat it, I guess. That's uh, the strategy that I came up with. And I mean, it, it worked obviously. So let's see what we get. Helmet of the Lycosis of the Lycos. 100% death, numb, and poisons. Boosts our attack a little bit, defense a lot, mind decently. Nice, 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 nice. So what's a clutch? I think clutches are like the things I can need yet that um, Horatia actually uses. So I don't think any of them can actually equip it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, two keys. Oh, I forgive me for assuming, but I kind of assumed that we wouldn't be attacked by these things anymore. Let's, um, not get cocky. Imagine dying now, like, after you beat it. Just, just try to imagine dying now. That would be... I think I would quit, like, the instant that that happens. Uh, trying to check these boxes is honestly terrifying. Can we aggress? We can't aggress, we have to walk back. I get the feeling that Indy was way was very well aware that this would be murderous. I'm kind of wondering what got these spy are these like spiders that we actually tested on? I th I that would make sense as to why they're so powerful. Cause like they're definitely more powerful than normal spiders are supposed to be, right? I'm dead. I'm so dead.
Pro tip, do not use phagocytosis on these things. It doesn't work. Okay. Woo. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were dead right there. I don't know why only one of them got poisoned slash venoms. Only Coriol did. Oh! The walls of this place are made of stone. It'll destroy all the cooperatives meaning my flare spell. The spiders won't be a threat anymore. So! We did it! I'm saving this game. Shut off. I am not risking it. Give me an extra fight. I don't care. I am not risking it. Like, what I want to know is, and this genuinely interests me, how does melee work? Like, what? Is it ra Like, it's it's obviously not random. It's way... It, it makes its choices way too well for it to be random. So there's got to be more behind it, right? There's got to be more than it just randomly picking what to do. But then, how, how does it decide? Like, how does it decide I'm gonna use this move? Or that move? I generally wonder about that. Because, I mean, I mean, sometimes it really comes in clutch. You're like, oh, great, that worked. So there's gotta be something there. I don't know. Egress certificate. I mean, there's two doors, and of the two, this one definitely looks like the one you'd have to... Orc Tavern. This place looks disgusting, like... Is that it? Uh, four chests. What the hell is a Krieger? Like, look, but then it goes for an attack that deals one damage. Wait, no, it went for an attack that just... See, that was way too good to be, like, a, a completely random thing, right? Uh, oh. Hey, you can't attack me in a tavern. Bruh, we're in a tavern. Please cal calm down. This is a place of rest and enjoyment. You can't just attack me in here. So rude. See, this is why no one, nobody likes orcs. They're rude. Screw it random to death. Yo, can you stop doing that? That is so annoying. You can't just crit my characters to death. Jesus. Um well. If I'm being entirely honest, I get this little feeling that it's not this that I'm in the wrong place. Oh, come on! Leave me alone. Yeah. Definitely not here. So then, is it the side path? Like, you can't deny that that looked like the one, like the door where you generally hide the big baddie in, right? If that's just a nifty trick, then GG, you got me. Because that, that looked like the door that you would go to. Didn't it? The middle one? Everyone goes through the middle door first. It's like a rule. If there's three doors, you go through the middle one first. And yes, I know that there was only two doors, but still, the middle one. 
Who doesn't go through the middle door first? Is that a trope or is that just facts? I'm not sure if that qualifies as a trope or not. Like, sure, it's sort of tropey, but on the other hand, it's also just true. Like, if there's two doors, the odds of it being the middle one, if there's a middle one, like this one is in the middle of the room. This is a side door. Like, or dormitory. That quite possibly sounds even worse. Honestly, I gave Luciana so many spells and I still don't know which one is actually effective and which one is not. Nope. Okay, so the answer is not water beam. not here can you stop doing that what is the thing always crit that's what I want to know so there's no path so after all this you're telling me it's not here I know you need to kill the spiders that's it, it I, I'm 100% sure that that was a prerequisite for actually getting through this place like having okay can we please stop with the encounters they're annoying I probably should have cared about random dying more than I did, but I really did not care at all. A small side path that goes into the next room. Really? Like, come on. Really? I mean, it did have a sapphire. Like, you can say what you want, it did have a sapphire. No, I am not trusting that again. Honestly, my big issue is that these things take so much, so long to kill, even though there's only one of them. It just has way too much HP. Saint Christopher was a good spell, though. But is this the one you can talk to? No, it's not. I know there's like one thing in this in this map, in this tower you can talk to, and it'll like response uh. fairy wings fairy wings make you faster that's good and then if random crits it just dies instantly which is so so, thank Temple Priest. See now, this is getting somewhere. Now I'm starting to feel like we're actually in a hidden temple where we're not supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like, how are you supposed to feel like you're in a place you're not supposed to be if there's no actual guards? 
Okay, so fire doesn't work on them. That's... Worrisome, because fire is definitely my main weapon here. At least, yeah, with Giga Flare. Now, personally, I think that these things are so weak that just attacking them could probably work out. The Nerys are the only really annoying thing here. St. Christopher... Not exactly the damage I would have won this, but whatever. Like, this works, obviously. But in all honesty, a good fight like that just makes this... Oh. Well, here we are. Um, yeah, so Sarah is captive. Oh, no, we're not there. I thought we were there. Come on. Evil sorcerer. This is actually really good for Luciana, so she can... Oh, well, she can't stab this guy. <laughs> Whoops. Random being so fast has, is a big advantage, though. Six tonic piece. Wow. O'Donnell skull. I'm pretty sure that that's one of those items that you can use to cast something. No? Oh, alchemic, alchemic item. Okay. <sighs> well, if they die in the middle, if they die after one hit, then they're not really an issue, are they? That should definitely be like your metric of whether or not an enemy is an issue. If they die in one hit, they weren't an issue. Always check the boxes. Always check the boxes. Let's see what the game says. Mighty Dryads. Use Barchas. Barchas seems like a weird use, given the fact that it was clearly not that effective on them, or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna have to, like, think back of where I actually found these whales, because I forgot by now, and we definitely need more. The old gate key unlocks the door. I was so hoping that that was a safe. Where are we? Okay, so we're in a library. That seems obvious. Really? 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 Okay, so this is beyond co coincidence, right? Luciano always using P balls on that one enemy. Like that's got to be coded somehow. If I'm dumb scroll. Rouge Gada Letal. Flare scroll and let's see, what was it called? Rouge Gada Letal. Learn Giga Freeze. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, 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 this is... Teach Luciana. She needs the spell, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to find this. You need to find this book. It's important. You'll see, I, I'll show you later why. But this book is, Im well, you know, important. Important has a lot of meanings, obviously, but... Yeah, the book is definitely relevant. Like, y if you want to get all the characters you can get in this game, then you definitely need the book. Oh, that is... Oh, a soccer bus. Well, that's less sad. Welcome to O'Donnell's skulls. Now, O'Donnell's, as these things, are very lovely because they try to use death all the time. And, as I've said a lot of times in this series, I don't know if that was an oversight from In the Nera coding it? Or coding the move? I don't know. But in all the games, all the attempts, all the game playthroughs, I have never...
ever seen death actually have an effect. I'm just going to see this entire room as a troll. You know, some of these rooms just have this feel that it's a troll room. Like, only there to make you check all the bar all the crates because you know you have to check the crates and then instead there's nothing there you know what I mean I love seeing these things die these things die to one hit at random it feels so satisfying it's like dude random random he's our man he can do it no one can Uh, so I realized, uh, we're already at 31 minutes in this video. This video has actually been going on for quite long by now. Uh, a little bit too long to my liking. So we'll just try to wrap it up. We'll try to just find uh, Sarah and then we can actually fin wrap up. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of a longer video for once, is there? Like, an episode takes as long as an episode takes, obviously. Especially since most of this was just looking for Sarah. Attack him, and there's four of them. Okay? You got some explain. Oh, wow. Giga Freeze is nice. But, yeah, you definitely need Giga Freeze. It's not, like, super important. But if you want to get all the hidden characters and stuff... Of which, like, Leanda is one of them, obviously. But there's another. There we are. So, Random actually learns a new skill here. Boom. Would have been useful if you knew that against the spiders, wasn't it? Wouldn't it? Now, as you'll see, this is actually a boss fight of sorts, but in all honesty, the last time I did this, this fight was like no issue. So let's hope I don't I don't misremember that. Oh, you know, it's a fresh tsunami. That's really annoying, actually. The middle guy is numbed, though. So I mean, realistically, how much of an issue can he be? Random spin attack. Let's go for the Giga Freeze, I guess. Wow. That's it? Dead already? Man. The spiders in your basement were stronger. What? Oh, so this is the boss fight. Okay. Fine. You got me in the Nera. You fain you fainted me. With an E. I fell for it. I thought the previous fight was the boss fight. This is the real boss fight. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. In the Nera, please. What is this? What is this? This ain't a boss fight. Can the grass? We can't check this place out, can't we? Hi, do you need help? So she's already dead. So we managed to save that one. That's like good. Obviously, that's good. Like, imagine. Uh, actually, I kept going, but realistically, let's actually wrap it up there. Uh, let's treat this fight as the outro then. Um, so yeah, let's um, let's wrap it up here. I'm just gonna go down, but you know. 
So that was it, that was it for this video. We're I'm gonna go to the end and I'm actually going to wrap up the video there, just so that we can like just straight up continue. Now next episode, uh, I will pick up next episode. I will start recording when I actually find the beast of Gangaria, Gangari Gangaria, whatever. Uh, so if you notice that the video just starts there, that's because that's why because I don't want to show the grind to getting to the beast, obviously. Now one funsy I want to show slash check if we go up all the way into this room. No, no save point. Okay. Anyways, guys, this was Darty Q. This was the Darty of the channel. Hope to see you all next time.